hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm evidence and and in today's video i'm going to show you how to download sqlite on your local machine on your local computer so you know as a data scientist you are expected to be a sql expert <laughs> um, person and when you're working on personal data science or data analysis project is uh, important and it's very nice to have a to have SQLite on your local machine so you can manipulate data on your local machine. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download SQLite on your local machine. It's going to vary a little bit from Mac and Windows users. So um, in the comment section of this video, I'm going to have um, sort of like mini instructions like if you're a mac user this is how you do it and if you're a windows user this is how you do it i have a windows machine but um as we go through i'll try to point out the differences between mac and windows and i also um leave this like so there's different code that you have to run to execute sqlite and i'm going to leave um these pieces of code in the comment section so you'll be able to just copy and paste it and make your life easier anyway with that said um, let's dive into these lessons and I'm going to show you how to download SQLite on your local machine let's dive in so um, the first step in downloading SQLite on your local machine is to of course download SQLite on your local machine <laughs> and anyway, so um, you go to this page sqlite.org slash download.html and um, I'm going to leave the link to this download page on the, in the description so you have easy access to it and if you are it says you see where it says pre-compiled binaries for Windows and pre-compiled binaries for Mac so if you're a Mac user you um, download this pre-compiled binaries and you download the one that says sqlite tools OSX and if you're an uh, online Linux machine this is what you download and if you're on Windows like me you will download this so if you're on Windows um, do not download the one that says DLL the zip that's really difficult to work with I downloaded it one time and I had a lot of problem trying to install SQLite because my machine didn't have something that could decode a DLL file so just download the one if you're on windows make sure you download the one that says sqlite tools and let's go ahead and get that one and then put this in the downloads folder once your file is downloaded make sure it's unzipped if you're especially if you're on windows make sure the file is unzipped so let's go to download this and unzip it by clicking extract all and extract if you try to um, do anything with this without unzipping it first it's not going to work and you're going to run into a lot of trouble okay now that the file is unzipped the next step is for us to open our terminal so I like to use git bash as my terminal just because it's fun to use and if your windows git bash is kind of like a Linux um, terminal and if you're on Mac you basically follow the same procedure and um, you download it and then you unzip it and then you open your terminal on Mac and if you're on Windows, the first thing you do is you navigate to where the file is located. Okay, so for me, um, I'm going to navigate to Nano's folder and this file is located right here 
so this is the SQLite file so now we are in the folder that contains the SQLite download and once you're in there you type in this code and I'm going to leave a mini article in the comment section below that will kind of walk you through this and then you just um, type this code in I just paste it and click enter okay so actually before you execute this code you have to go further you have to go um, into this folder again so I'll go ahead and copy this folder and then do CD again to the second folder and to paste you do Control shift V that's how you paste so as you can see now we are in download SQLite tools slash SQLite tools and then you execute this code and that should work enter okay as you can see right here once you execute this code wimpty.sqlite3.exe if you see a sqlite command that means you've successfully installed sqlite so right now sqlite has been successfully installed on my machine okay and if you are on Mac after you navigate to the source folder you run the command to add SQLite to your command path and so if you're on Mac after navigating to the folder and um, this is what you run right here you run this command and I'm going to again leave an article in the comment section below that will help you with this and then once you type this in, you should receive a SQLite command. And if you receive a SQLite command, you have successfully installed SQLite on your machine. And to test it out, you can do SQLite new database new db.sqlite. So let's try out something like so we just created a new SQLite database. So to get out of SQLite, as you can see, we are in a SQLite command right now. Okay, so we just had to like close this command in order to get out of it. So if you just type in dot exit, if you just type in dot exit, you know, you'll be able to get out of this SQLite command and get back into the terminal. Instead of going through this process of doing wimpty.sqlite.exe, every single time in order to um, pull up SQLite what you can do is you can just type this in and then you type this in right here so basically the first line of code this first line of code what it does is it will this first line of code will create an alias for SQLite and then this will just add it to um your path variable the path your computer path okay so if you type in sqlite right now um we should enter into a sqlite command as you can see right here just type in sqlite and we are in sqlite right now so that's pretty cool we've installed sqlite on our computer and mac is basically um very similar the only difference is that when you're in the source folder, instead of typing in um, wim2.sqlite3.exe, you type this in, but you still use this exact, this use the same command to create an alias for SQLite, and then um, you use this to add it to your path. Now that you've used your terminal to verify that you've successfully installed SQLite, you can just come to your Windows terminal and just type in SQL as you can see this right here um, DB browser SQLite shows up and DB browser SQLite cipher also shows up so just click on this and you can see SQLite shows up on your computer so you don't have to use um, the terminal 
to manipulate circle light so you can use the circle light software to manipulate circle light from here you can create a new database and then you can use um, this circle light database to work with circle you know on your local machine and of course you can always work with circle too on um, using the command line or git bash so um, that's basically how you install circle on your local machine I hope this video helped you if this video added value to you to you and if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and share it with other people so other people will learn how to install circle on their local machine again thank you very much for watching if you want me to create a series on SQL tutorials, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I might create a video series I'm kind of doing SQL tutorials uh, with the SQL lights on your local mission. So um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.